there are creatures of myth out there, that you would want to stay away from, these creatures comes from the thing of nightmares and will truly haunt your dreams, having you wake up in a cold sweat. So with that in mind, here is the top 5 urban mythical creatures that will haunt your dreams. 5. The Chupacabra. Chupacabra translated as goat sucker is a reptile, like creature, said to have leathery or scaly greenish skin and sharp spines or quills running down its back. It is said to be approximately 3 to 4 feet high and stands and hops in a fashion similar to that of a kangaroo. The first reported attack occurred in March 1995 in Puerto Rico. Eight sheep were discovered dead, each with three puncture wounds in three chest area and completely drained of blood. So a vampire type creature, that can sneak up behind you, without you knowing and suck all your blood out, definitely not something I would like to see in my dreams. 4. The Banshee. There are many varying descriptions of the Banshee. Sometimes she has long streaming hair and wears a grey cloak over a green dress, and her eyes are red from continual weeping. She may even be dressed in while with red hair and a ghastly complexion. Sometimes the banshee assumes the form of some sweet singing virgin of the family who died young, and has been given the mission by invisible powers to become the harbinger of coming doom to her mortal kindred. The U.A. Brian Banshee is thought to be named Abel and the ruler of 25 other Banshees who would always be at her attendance. It is possible that this possible story is the source of the idea that the wailing or numerous Banshees signifies the death of a great person. When several Banshees appear at once it indicates the death of a great or holy person. The tale sometimes recounted that the woman, though called a fairy, was a ghost, often of a specified murdered woman, or a mother who died in childbirth. So hearing the wailing of the nearby banshee that no one else can hear is not my idea of a great night or day. 3. The Headless Horseman The Headless Horseman is traditionally depicted as a man upon his horse missing his head. Depending on the legend, the horseman is either carrying his head, or missing his head altogether, and searching for it. The legend of the headless horseman begins in Sleepy Hollow, New York, during the American Revolutionary War. Tradition folklore holds that the horseman was a Hessian artilleryman who was killed during the Battle of White Plains, Indiana 17776. He was decapitated by an American cannonball, and the shattered remains of his head were left on the battlefield while his comrades hastily carried his body away. In myth the horseman is known to ride along the streets looking out for any person that may be around, there he would chop off the head of his victim, where he would then butt the severed head upon his own shoulders and disappear into the night, all while looking for his next victim. I don't know about you but I am keen on keeping my head on my shoulders. Mind having a ghostly man keeping it on his, too. The Wendigo. The Wendigo is a mythical cannibal monster or evil spirit native to the northern forests of the Atlantic coast and Great Lakes region of both the United States and Canada. The Wendigo may appear as a monster with some characteristics of a human, or as a spirit who has possessed a human being and may then become monstrous. It is historically associated with cannibalism murder, insatiable greed, and the cultural taboos against such behaviors. In some traditions, humans who become overpowered by greed could turn into Wendigos, the myth thus served as a method of encouraging cooperation and moderation. Humans can also turn into Wendigos by being in contact with them for too long. The Wendigo was gaunt to the point of emaciation, its desiccated skin pulled tightly over its bones. With its bones pushing out against its skin, its complexion the ass gray of death, and its eyes pushed back deep into their sockets. The Wendigo looked like a gaunt skeleton recently disinterred from the grave. Yikes, definitely not a creature you would want to stalk you, when alone in the forests. 1. The Thunderbird 
the Thunderbirds a legendary creature in certain North American indigenous people's history and culture. It is considered a supernatural being of power and strength. It is especially important, and frequently depicted, in the art, songs and oral histories of many Pacific Northwest Coast cultures, but is also found in various forms among some peoples of the American Southwest, East Coast of the United States, Great Lakes, and Great Plains. The Thunderbird controls the upper world while the underworld is controlled by the underwater panther or great horned serpent. The Thunderbird throws lightning at the underwater creatures and creates thunder by flapping its wings. Thunderbirds in tradition are commonly depicted as having an X shape appearance. Well, seeing the Thunderbird and the underwater creatures in a battle would be glorious but being anywhere near the battle is not a place I would want to be. Think, all that lightning being thrown around is sure you will be struck and dead.